In the previous video, I've shared with you two versions of the Guang style noodle, one with pork and shrimp and the other with chicken. Today, let's make another version of my favorite Vietnamese noodle dish, mì quảng, that is mì quảng cá lóc. This recipe is meat-free because it's cooked with fish only. Let's begin! Oh yeah! Helen's recipes! You will need one snack head fish, about 1 kg, some rice noodles, some cổ nén, or you can substitute with garlic and shallot, a mix of fresh greens like lettuce, Vietnamese herbs, shredded banana blossom and bean sprouts, some chili peppers, turmeric, lime, a dozen of quail eggs, peanut oil, roasted peanuts and fish sauce. Peel and crush the cổ nén in a mortar and pestle. Also peel and crush the fresh turmeric well. Dip one lime wedge in salt and rub all over the snack head fish. This is to remove the sliminess and the gamey smell of the fish. Then rinse well and drain. Then fillet the fish and slide on a bias into thin slices. In a large bowl, combine the fish slices with the crushed cổ nang and turmeric, some pepper, a teaspoon of seasoning powder, two tablespoons of fish sauce, a tablespoon of sugar, and a tablespoon of peanut oil. Stir well and cover, leave to sit for at least one hour or better overnight in the fridge. Place the fish head and bone in a saucepan filled with water, add a teaspoon of salt and a smashed shallot, or half an onion, cook for about 30 minutes, then strain to discard the fish bones, season the fish broth to taste with fish sauce and stock powder. Now heat 2 tablespoons of peanut oil in a large wok until smoking hot, add some crushed cổ nén and turmeric and sauté until fragrant. Then add the marinated fish, gently flip with chopsticks and cook on both sides, simmer for about 3 to 5 minutes until the fish absorbs all the great flavors. Do not over stir because you don't want to break the fish. Arrange the fresh greens and rice noodles in a bowl. Place the fish slices on top and ladle the fish broth over. This is a half noodle soup, half noodle salad dish, so the broth should just barely cover the noodles and veggies. You can serve with a piece of rice crackers, add boiled quail eggs if you like, and remember to mix well before serving. It's so tasty and it's a great choice for those non-meat eaters. I hope you like the recipe. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel for more amazing Vietnamese recipes. I will see you then next time. Bye!